I'm not entirely sure whether I'm not crazy. Maybe I am. As a diving enthusiast, Boyan Slat noticed that there were more plastic bags than fish in the water around him. So, at the age of 16, he instigated the ocean cleanup, an enormous but absolutely vital effort to rid our ocean of plastic. At first, he was told it was impossible. Pessimism is what preserves the status quo and, and optimism is what brings us forward. Currently, he and his team are mapping the plastic by air and they are testing the 100 meter long prototype in the North Sea. By working with the best technologies and most innovative materials available on the planet, Boyan created a prototype that should be able to withstand the extreme forces at sea. On our planet, there are five garbage patches where the plastic debris circulates. In 2020, the ocean cleanup will first tackle the largest garbage patch found around Hawaii and California. This is how it works. A V-shaped barrier is placed perpendicular to the currents to collect as much plastic as possible. With its remarkable length of 100 kilometers, it's the largest floating object at sea. It's five times further away from the coastline than the closest oil rig, and it needs to be anchored at a depth that's never been reached before. To conquer these challenges, the ocean cleanup uses advanced technology and innovative materials such as Dyneema, the world's strongest fiber. It's 15 times stronger than steel and was developed by DSM. This allows the whole construction to move with the waves, making it capable of withstanding fierce ocean storms. The barriers are not built with nets, but with an impenetrable solid screen, which naturally guides fish and other marine life underneath so they don't get stuck. Every four to six weeks, the plastic will be collected by ship from a storage facility at the tip of the V-shaped barrier and reused, recycled, or turned into bunker fuel for its service vessels. The operation will be self-sustainable and pay for itself. Boyan, what do you say to those who say this is impossible? Human history is sort of a, a long list of things that were impossible and then were done. So I've been an inventor really for, for all my, my life and yeah, just the, 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 the feeling you get when you think about something and then see that become reality, I think there's really no better feeling than that, that act of, of, of creation.